What's up guys, Alex from FIFA Scouting Tips here and welcome to this guide to the cheapest central midfielders in FIFA 15. Now uh, these uh, videos are going to be perfect for teams on a tight budget because every player in the lower league gem series will cost you a million pounds or less and uh, if you can't buy them in the first window then the value from your scout will be £500,000 or less so you know that by the time you can uh, put an offer in for them in January they'll still be very affordable. So uh, head over to fifascoutingtips.com for the full article because today I'm just going to look at my recommendations from that article but on the website there will be every player in the game with a minimum potential of 76 and a maximum cost of £1 million so you know you're going to get good players and they're all sorted by position as well so they should be fairly easy to find the type of player that you're looking for. So let's have a look at who I'm going to recommend today and first up we have Danilo Cataldi. He starts at 67 overall and he's got 79 potential. He's 19 years old and he plays for Lazio. Uh, the cost from your scout is £450,000 but if you send an inquiry you get a ridiculously low price for him. Uh, you get quoted just £100,000 so you could easily get him for around about seventy-five to £80,000 perhaps even lower and uh, with that potential, that's a, that is such a great bargain for him. His wages are £8,000 and he's got a three year contract at Lazio. He's right footed with three star weak foot and three star skill moves. Now sometimes you do find these players who are ridiculously cheap for their overall and their potential and Cataldi is one of those players. 67 overall, he should be costing close to a million pounds if not more than that, but he costs 10 times less. So, so cheap for that potential and that overall and he's good as well in terms of his stats. He's got very good passing and decent long shots and shot power as well. So I'd be very tempted to push him a little bit further forward just be uh, just behind the strikers so he could take a shot from distance or supply them with good passes and set up opportunities for them as well. But equally he's going to be good at holding back and uh, keeping it steady in the central midfield as a deep lying playmaker if that's how you want to play him as well. Now for £100,000 you can't really go far wrong. Uh, next up we've got Corentin Tolisso, he starts at 69 overall, he's got 78 potential and he is also 19, plays for Olympic Lyon in France, uh, the scouts valuation of him is £650,000 but send off an inquiry and they'll only want about £625,000 for him so another very good bargain there. Uh, so you can get him for around about four hundred fifty to five hundred thousand pounds. His wages are nine thousand pounds. He's got a five-year contract. He's right-footed with three-star weak foot and two-star two-star skill moves. Now, while Cataldi was uh, slightly more attacking, Tolisso is much more defensive-minded. Uh, excellent tackling stats. Sta uh, stand tackle seventy-four, marking seventy-two. Uh, very good for that overall but also his physical stats are excellent for a central midfielder so he's got very good stamina and good pace as well so he can cover a lot of ground making good tackles as well and he's got good strength as well 75 strength is going to work very well in the middle of midfield uh, but as well, of it, as well as his defensive stats he's got good passing and good ball control as well so he can create opportunities for his teammates as well so he's a very uh, very multi-talented midfielder uh, slightly edging towards defense so uh, go for him if that's the type of player you're looking for but if you want an all-rounder who can do pretty much everything, uh, have a look at this guy, Joel Obi. Now he starts at 69 overall and has 77 potential. He's 23 years old and plays for Inter in uh, Italy. Uh, the scouts valuation of him is £775,000. But if you send an inquiry, you'll get a price uh, either £750,000 or £1.1 million. Uh, usually it's £750,000, but just to warn you, it could go a little bit higher. So that means you can get him for around about £550,000 to £850,000, still below £1 million and a very good price for him. His wages are £10,000, he's got a three-year contract and is left-footed with three-star weak foot and three-star skill moves. He also has the early crosser and flare traits, which means he can do uh, extra flicks and passes, that kind of thing. He's also injury-prone, so it's a little bit of a risk going for him, but I would say it's absolutely worth it because take a look at some of his stats. He's the fastest player. Uh, that I look at here, he's got very, very good pace, 85 acceleration and 82 sprint speed, excellent stamina as well so he can run all game, uh, but look at his stats, they, he's good at a lot of different things, so 78 shot power, uh, very decent shots, I uh, wouldn't be afraid to take a shot from distance with him, he's got decent dribbling as well and passing, but his stand tackle and uh, marking is also very good, so his tackling is around about as good as his dribbling as well, so that tells you that he's very good in all sorts of different areas, he can attack and defend, and uh, he can even play on the wing with his good pace and decent crossing as well, so he's a very flexible player. If you're looking for someone who can cover lots of different areas, and uh, if, or if you've got like an injury crisis, that kind of thing, this guy is very good because he can do all kinds of things. 
things and is a very good bargain as well. But if you thought some of these players were a little bit too expensive, take a look at this guy, Gael Bajiramana. Uh, he starts at 63 overall, he's got 76 potential and is 20 years old, uh, plays for Newcastle United. Uh, the scouts valuation of him is 230,000, but if you send an inquiry you get an absolutely insane price for him, just £3,400, very specific as well, but extremely low, uh, so you can get him for around about £2,500, uh, such a low price, I don't know why it's so low for him, but um, let's just be grateful that it is, because it's a great bargain you can get for him, it's wages of £4,000, so they're pretty cheap as well, 3 year contract, right footed with 3 star weak foot, 2 star skill moves, and he's also got the acrobat uh, speciality. Now he, I kind of look at him as a cheaper version of Joel o, Joel Obi, sorry. So he's very good at lots of different things. Uh, his tackling is just as good as his dribbling. Very good passing as well and decent vision. Uh, he's got good pace and uh, half decent crossing so you can play him on the wing as well if you need him to. And uh, decent long shots as well. So uh, wherever you need him to play, he can do a good job there. And for such a low price, uh, you can't really say no. I'd be very tempted just to buy him. And if you don't like him, just sell him on in the next window and you make a good profit anyway so uh, he's a great one if uh, like I said you thought the other ones were a bit too expensive but uh, you still want to bring in a high quality player so these are my four recommendations I'm now going to show you uh, how they did after three years of development so you can get an idea of the type of players that they develop into okay so we'll start with Cataldi and he is now 74 overall so he's grown seven points and he is now an excellent player a uh, very good attacking player uh, but also a very good passer as well so 82 vision that's grown really nicely uh, 76 short passing and 77 long passing very useful indeed for setting up attacks for your team uh, his shot power and long shots now in the mid 70s so uh, he could be very lethal from range and a uh, 72 curve could also come in very useful when he shoots from distance as well 73 dribbling and 76 ball control uh, uh, very useful going forward as well so like I said before he's a good attacker uh, someone who can push up a bit further forward than central, central midfield and uh, could be useful for scoring a few goals and setting them up as well uh, next we have Tolisso he's now also 74 overall and uh, he is uh, growing into that defensive role very nicely indeed 78 stand tackle 72 slide tackle and 74 marking really excellent there uh, 78 interceptions as well very good at cutting out the ball but uh, like Cataldi his passing has been going up very nicely 77 uh, short passing and 76 vision it's gonna be very useful as well for creating attacks uh, from that deep lying playmaker role uh, which he would be very good at indeed so a few more points to grow he's only a couple of points off his potential and he's only 22 years old so uh, he could easily exceed that uh, same with Cataldi as well I think and uh, talking about potential, we've now got Joel Obi, and he is at his potential. He's reached 77, and he's only 25, so he's got uh, still plenty more years worth of growth in him, so he could easily exceed that. And uh, just look at some of those stats he's got there. 85 ball control, uh, 85 long passing, and 79 short passing. He's going to get the ball under control nice and quickly, and uh, offload the ball to his teammates. Uh, whether they're close or far away, he's going to be very, very accurate when it comes to passing. And uh, as I was saying before, great in attack and also defense 80 dribbling but also 78 stand tackle so he's good at getting the ball back but also at beating uh, opposition defenders as well with that pace and that good crossing he can still play wide on the wing and he's got decent long shots and shot power as well so he could score you a few goals as well great overall player and like I said he could still grow even more past his potential and uh, finally we've got Bajiramana and he's now caught up with the others if you remember he was a few points behind them when we started but he's grown very quickly now up to 72 overall and uh, he's like I said he, before he's a bit like uh, Joel Obi very good passing uh, 79 short passing and 78 long passing that's really excellent but his uh, if you look at his dribbling 72 and his stand tackle 73 they're pretty much equal so he's very good going forward and backwards as well can defend and attack equally well uh, his physical stats been going up really nicely 83 acceleration he's now really really quick uh, but his strength has also been going up very nicely so he can hold his own get the ball back off the opposition players or make sure that he can hold on to it onto it himself so uh, he's a great uh, all-round player and uh, only cost us three thousand four hundred pounds what a bargain that was if you consider how he's grown now a uh, great player there so all four players really good players I'd uh, thoroughly recommend all of them uh, given how they have grown after three years so uh, thank you for watching this uh, make sure you head over to fifascoutingtips.com where there will be the full article with every player with a minimum potential of 76 and a maximum cost of £1 million.
uh, great cheap players uh, for you for your career mode. Uh, make sure if you found a player which I haven't talked about here or which maybe isn't in the article on the website, make sure you leave that suggestion uh, in the comments below or if you tried one of these players, uh, let us know how you thought uh, they played for you. It'd be great to hear that. If you've got any more ideas for what you want me to do next on this channel, uh, I'd really like to hear that as well. So make sure you leave that uh, suggestion in the comments as well. Uh, don't forget, I'm still running the uh, scouting contest. So if you found a really good uh, youth player, make sure you take a picture of him in the youth academy or after he's just been promoted promoted and uh, you can enter the uh, scouting competition that ends at the end of November so uh, you can leave a link to um, an image in the comments below or you could use the hashtag scouting god on Twitter send it to at FIFA scouting uh, or you could post a picture on the FIFA scouting tips Facebook page that's uh, facebook.com slash FIFA scouting tips or you could even uh, leave a comment on the website as well with that image uh, so make sure you enter that as well uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this video and uh, thanks for watching